Isn't the future so exciting? TCL, a Chinese-owned firm best known for its TVs, debuted the Ray Neo X2 at CES 2023, a pair of AR smart glasses with thick black rims that are evocative of the 3D movie theater glasses distributed in the early 2000s. But compared to those, these spectacles are much more capable. You can insert your own prescription into the Ray Neo X2 glasses because they are designed to be worn as regular daily glasses. Now, the question is, will Apple use these glasses? Without further ado, let's get started. Interestingly, the glasses may project micro-LED screens that hover in front of both eyes to provide information such as smart GPS navigation, auto-translation, phone call and message notifications, and the ability to take photos and videos while listening to music. For instance, if you're looking for your local library, the Ray Neo X2 will direct you without requiring you to look down at your phone. The new device's automatic translation aid is one of its most intriguing features. Consider this scenario. You want to converse with someone in their native tongue. To improve connectivity, the Ray Neo X2 will be able to show translations in front of you. But as CNET noted, the live translation also broadcasts what everyone in the room, including you, is saying, which can be bothersome. The Ray Neo X2 isn't currently available to the public, but developers are expected to have access to it. The rest of us will be able to purchase it shortly after, but some features might have changed by then. The key question is, therefore, whether Apple VR glasses will take advantage of the AR glasses technology unveiled at CES 2023. A major upheaval in how we live and work is one of the major promises made by augmented reality. A virtual world can be layered over our physical one to create countless options for interacting, processing information, and perceiving the environment. However, if you've been following the AR and VR landscape lately, Apple's glasses won't come as a huge surprise. By including AR technology in one of its most recent products, the well-respected tech firm Apple has recently caused quite a stir in the metaverse. The international corporation's devoted customer base helped them produce over $394 billion in sales in 2022. Through immersive technology, cutting-edge processing algorithms, and other methods, Apple's metaverse approach aims to close the gap between the virtual and real worlds. Apple is working on at least two augmented reality projects. The first is an upcoming augmented reality headset that will be available in 2023, followed by a more stylish set of augmented reality glasses. The year of AR glasses is expected to be 2023. But why? The current state of AR. A lot of augmented reality applications are now in use, even though smart glasses with augmented reality features haven't totally taken over. Today's applications frequently take the shape of head-up displays, transparent displays that present data without obscuring the view, almost like a window with notes on it. The notes, however, contain information that adapts to the environment being studied. Military aircraft were the first to utilize HUDs in flight. A $22 billion project called the Integrated Visual Augmentation System will produce mixed-reality war goggles for the American Army. With the new glasses, soldiers may communicate in real time about information like maps or enemy positions while engaged in combat. HUDs are now utilized in other industries, such as commercial aviation and automobiles. As they can show important information on a driver's windshield, like directions without requiring the driver to take their eyes off the road, HUDs are considered the next step in advancing driver experience, particularly in cars. Automakers like Kia are already using this kind of AR HUD in several cars, including Kia EV6, Kia Niro, and others. Different from augmented reality, assisted reality is being applied in many different sectors. Although less immersive than augmented reality, it is comparable in that data is projected on a screen over the user's surroundings. One business, Realware, creates head-mounted devices for augmented reality for frontline workers in healthcare, energy, manufacturing, and automotive industries. According to John Arnold, Vice President of EMEA at Realware, the main use cases for extended reality, which includes both augmented reality and aided reality today, are centered on business and security. To him, the objectives of aided reality are to maintain the user's focus and situational awareness in the physical world while maintaining a clear line of sight. Arnold highlighted the example of real-wear helmet-mounted devices, which are used to support engineers remotely in production situations. 
These wearables allow a local engineer to submit data to a distant expert in real time on the other side of the world while working in a very harsh and sometimes dangerous environment, such as the rain, high up, or at sea. The local engineer may then securely make the remedy in real time with the assistance of the remote expert, who can then see the issue clearly through the eyes of the worker, identify the problem, and diagnose it. So, what's next for AR and smart glasses? Revolution The potential for how these glasses will revolutionize our user experience and lives grows as tech behemoths like Google and Apple are closer to releasing new kinds of smart glasses. For instance, consider the metaverse. However, headsets like the Magic Leap 2 provide a fully immersive experience even while XR technology isn't ready for the metaverse. It's too pricey, too bulky, or just not very good. But hardware aside, 5G is the main factor in determining how far AR will advance. With its ultra-low latency and tremendous bandwidth, 5G should provide a new network that is significantly faster for AR to use. This is essential for use cases like the ability to instruct someone remotely or for guided maintenance and repairs, such as a remote repair expert writing comments on damaged parts that on-site employees may repair and then fix appropriately. So, what can we anticipate from the Apple VR glasses? Apple Glasses Google Glass immediately springs to mind when thinking about AR glasses. But Prosser asserts that unlike Google's solution, which was dropped because it was a little too futuristic for customers, Apple's alternative is designed to resemble a regular pair of glasses and can therefore be used with your prescription glasses, if you have one. Apple's augmented reality glasses will likely use Sony's 1280x960 OLED micro displays. That fits into a frame that resembles a set of common glasses or prescription eyeglasses and is equivalent to the image on a tiny laptop. The Apple Metaverse Glasses control scheme revolves around a special gesture mechanism. It is widely agreed that, rather than the VR or AR equipment with a strong CPU, the glasses will connect with an iPhone. And because of that trade-off, the glasses can be made small. Given their resemblance to conventional spectacles, Apple glasses will be a more commonplace wearable than the headset. According to reports, the glasses will have lenses with screens that can be operated with gestures and a typical frame appearance. Prescription lenses will be offered at an additional fee, and there will be a choice to purchase the glasses without prescription lenses for as little as $499. Even earlier than Apple's AR VR headset, the glasses are reportedly in the early stages of development. For its reported augmented reality glasses, Apple is said to be considering using state-of-the-art OLED micro displays provided by Sony. The ultra-high contrast, wide color gamut, high brightness, low reflectance, integrated drivers, and ultra-fast reaction rate of Sony's OLED micro displays make them ideal for thin and light designs. A 0.5-inch LCD is reportedly present in the glasses. According to Kuo, the AR glasses will be sold as an iPhone accessory and will largely perform the display role, offloading computing, networking, and positioning to the iPhone. The glasses will also offer a mobile-first, optical see-through AR experience. Apple will be able to keep the AR glasses compact and lightweight by making them an optional iPhone accessory. According to leaked information from John Prosser, the glasses will resemble Ray-Ban Wayfarers or Tim Cook's glasses, who also reports that the present prototype looks like a pair of upscale sunglasses with broad frames that hold the batteries and chips. But how much will they cost? Cost Because an iPhone can power the AR glasses, Apple can keep the cost extremely low. In a world where high-end iPhones and iPads cost the same as a MacBook Pro, it's tempting to expect that futuristic technology like this will cost more than £1,000 or dollars. But Prosser believes it will be pleasantly affordable at just $999. That's for the basic model, indicating more expensive variations, possibly with various materials, like the Apple Watch line. But it's unclear if there will be distinctions like the iPhone range. That is a ridiculously low price that will enable Apple to solidify its position as one of the leading suppliers of AR content on the market. The App Store already has a ton of augmented reality content that would probably work better on a pair of glasses than on an iPhone or iPad. By the time the Apple Glasses specifications are officially announced, it will have a ton of AR content ready to go that was made for the first-generation AR VR headset. So now, what do you think? Are these glasses worth the hype they're getting? Will they bring a revolutionary change to the VR industry? 
comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell.